Hello my darlings, this is part four of My Archangels, how they work, what role they play and how they can help you. So let's start with our first one. Let's talk about Archangel Haniel. Now some people say that they see her on a silvery blue ray, but I always see her on this like yellow ray. Don't know, perhaps that's something that she does specifically to me to help me understand it's her coming in. Um, Haniel is a very busy, studious lady. Lady. <laughs> She's not a lady, but you know what I mean? That's how I see her. I see her as a female. Um, and she basically helps us to develop our spirituality, our development of um, psychic awareness, our intuition, um, and all of that kind of stuff. She's very much someone that helps us, you know, grab hold of everything esoteric and move forward with it. So she's kind of like, I don't know, I see her as like a tutor, Haniel. Um, and, you know, if there's anything I don't understand or if I, I want to learn something, I kind of call her in and say, I need to understand this a bit more. Do you know what I mean? So if you want to develop your intuition, your spirituality, be inspired on what crystals to use, be inspired on what path to take, then Haniel is the lady. For, I keep calling her a lady. Is the angel for you. OK, I know I, I like to bring them down to like, a, you know, almost on a humanity level so that we can keep it real, you know, kind of make it a bit more simple rather than start talking about rays and frequencies and God knows what. So, yeah, Hania will help you develop your gifts. OK, lovely lady. Oh, come on, I can't call her a lady again. It's random, isn't it? I keep calling her that for. But, yeah, she's going to be lady. How dare you? I'm an archangel. <laughs> So that's Haniel for you. Spiritual development, spiritual gifts. I see her on a yellow ray, but but some report and some write that it's like a silvery blue ray. Um, see what happens when you see her or invoke her, okay? Um, how do I invoke them, you ask? You basically just say, Archangel Haniel, I need to, you to come into my energy now, please, because I'd like to um, pursue more development concerning my spiritual gifts and my psychic awareness. Bang. Or write it out. And then um, usually within about 24 foot hours, you'll get a feather or something that will drop in to say, I've heard you. It's as simple as that. It's really not hard. They're sitting waiting for permission to get to jump in and help us. So just do it. Um, so that's Haniel for you. Um, next, Metatron. Oh, my God. Metatron features heavily in my new book, Earthwalkers. My fiction book. It's not as fact, actually. But hey, hey. Um, and he is... Oh, my God, I love him so much. Now, again, I'm going to refer to Dumbledore. Yes, I am. When I first saw him, right, in a meditation, I was signing the Akashic Records and he was handing the book to me and he said his name and I'd never heard of it before in my life. He sounded like a transformer. I'm like, I'm making it up as I go along. And um, I'm like, OK. And he was sitting really humble, right, Um with like a long grey beard, little little specks, half moon specks, and he's sitting behind this desk in this like purpley green robe, right? And he said, Oh, you can sign the Akashic Records. I didn't know what they were either. And this is all in my book as well. Right. So I'm like, Metatron, this made up name, made up name. So as soon as I come out of the meditation, I Googled it. I'm like, oh holy shit. And he's a scribe of God. Basically, he writes down everything um, to do with the Akashic Records and souls. He also is a protector of um, young children. I have been shown as well by him that he's a very close guide and protector of children with autism and ADHD, um, i.e. crystal children, indigo children. They're not disabled. They are more up in the spirit world than they are down here. They've chosen experience to come down it, even though their soul is more or less sitting in the spirit world. That's why they love water, love all things blue, um, most probably purple because the Metatron looking after them. And um, they're showing us compassion, love and humility and that material needs and being a little brat um, wanting this and wanting the next um, PlayStation game. If there's still a thing, I don't know. Um, they show us humility and love and the simpleness of just being um, happy. That's what they're here for. Um, he looks after them as well. He's a massive protector of them um, and people that are developing, young young children that are open and aware. Um, I love him. He's very powerful. Um, so when I saw him in his magnificence, right, he was like this big, vibrant, muscular man with this like shimmering 
short purple robe and I'm like oh my god and that's his warrior status that's his I'm here to do business status but when you go and see him and you can go and see him in the halls of learning up in up in heaven right he's just this little old man he's so cute so um cute is an archangel they're gonna strike me down at some point and I literally was like why why have you created that form and he said to make you feel at home and he most probably knows in my template that I love Harry Potter. And so I'm walking in and I'm thinking I'm signing my soul away. I honestly did think that. And um, it's not. It, it was me signing the Kaiser Records. It's just I just wanted to make you feel at home. I'm like, oh, my God. They can change their image, remember. Okay, but Metatron, new, new type of angel. I don't know much about him. I just know what he's shown me. It's that simple. The only thing I Google is if, I, if I'm looking at the name, I think that's a made-up name. That's a transformer. Oh my god! And um, I googled it, and it's suddenly this archangel, scribe of God. I'm like Jesus Christ, that's him because he literally was writing, and he's always got a book in his hands, um, and he he literally keeps records and logs all of the souls. Big job, um, but remember, um, it's all a frequency. It's all an intelligence. It's not one man physically writing for millions of people. Okay, um, but I love him. Metatron is just I love him. Um, so yeah, I see him a lot if I if I delve into the Akashic records to see what's going on with the planet. Um, and that's how I know Ariel so well, her energy so well, because she's just kicking off at the moment. That's why there's so many natural disasters. Because she's like, you want to abuse us, this is what we're doing to kick back fires, tsunamis, earthquakes, you name it. Anyhow, before getting into that, um, we will now go on to our next angel. And who should we pick next? I'm thinking... What about Raziel? Raziel? Again, I thought made up name. It's made up name. It's just, that's not, that's not an angel. It's just a made up name. Um, and when he first, I see him as a he. When he first come along, um... It was like a prism of light. It was like a rainbow colour. So he kind of works on different colours of the of the rainbow. A prism, basically. It's not a, a singular colour. I think it's because he's a real magical type of energy. Um, he's the sort of person that... Um, oh, by the way, Metatron also, because he's very officious with his writing, he also helps with practical needs, right? So if you, like, need to make time for things or do schedules, he's the one for you to do that as well. Sorry, I forgot to mention that, because he's very fastidious, you know, he'll, he'll get everything done, and he'll help you to do that. I forgot to mention that. So going back to Raziel, um, he's, like, magical and colourful, and he, um, I, I'm sure, I can't remember if he told me or not, or it's somewhere I saw it. It's He kind of like has the secrets of God. So he reminds me of the, um, oh God, what's, what's her bloody name? It'll come to me in a minute. I'm trying to think of the tarot card of the woman. But um, basically, he helps with working out information that's brought to you so for instance he helps you to analyze dreams he helps you to uncover previous lives and decode your soul he helps you to decipher information that's come from the spirit world or the angel realms he's a facilitator of clarifying information that's brought to your soul okay so he's kind of like the the book of secrets if you like you know he um he he likes to help you decipher and for you to understand and absorb information bought from the divine. And as I say, I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but I just, every time I see him or I'm aware of him, it's like colour, colour, colour. Um, sometimes I ask him to come and help clarify if I've had a dream or a meditation I don't understand. Sometimes I ask him to come in and help me understand perhaps... Um, a reading, a card reading or something like that. He just helps. He's like the, it's like the aid on a crossword puzzle. Do you know what I mean? That's the easiest way to describe him. Um, yeah, he's interesting. I don't work with him a lot, to be honest with you. But when he has come in, that's how he looks. Um, I don't know if any of you, else, if you any other people out there have had um, connections with Raziel. 
um, or Raziel, however you want to call it. Um, but yeah, I haven't worked a lot with him. I haven't worked a lot with him. Um, but it has been about, and so I thought I'd better share him um, as one of the angels that I've encountered. So I hope you have enjoyed these three, the order of three. Um, and I shall bring the next lot to you another time. Take care.